Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be reviewing the brand new D23 exclusive Jasmine and Aladdin Midnight Masquerade series dolls. This year at D23 there were a few exclusive dolls like the Ariel 20, 35th anniversary doll, the Jane Tarzan 25th anniversary doll at Disneyland, and the Wicked Stepsisters and Jasmine and Aladdin Midnight Masquerade series dolls. After the expo, the Wicked Stepsisters and Aladdin were made available online at the Disney Store for $299. However, they sold out very, very quickly. Here on the back of the box, we have Art of Jasmine and Aladdin by Steve Thompson, an artist at Disney who has done the art for the Midnight Masquerade series in the past, as well as some other Disney designer collections. Here is the barcode. I doubt you will find these dolls anywhere outside of the parts. Uh, they have placed a few of them at Disneyland to be purchased in store. Uh, as always, the Steve Thompson art is absolutely gorgeous and definitely enhances the quality of the dolls by giving it this like hand-drawn magical touch to it i guess and included with these dolls is a, is a certificate of authenticity and two doll stands here it says fashionably late fiercely on point these disney villains and heroes are here to make an entrance not even a lost Invitation from a magic, sorry, from a royal carrier can stop them from attending the show stopping Midnight Masquerade. They finally arrived and they are owning this magical moment. The blend of mystery and moonlight comes to life in the stunningly sophisticated collection designed by Disney artists. These dolls are adorned with intricately crafted masks featuring iconic motifs that capture the innocence of our heroes along with the dark deeds of our villains. This is an event for fans and collectors alike you won't want to miss. Let the drama begin. And it says it here in French and Spanish again. Now let's take a look at the rest of the box and see what it has. Here on the top, we have a clear opening and it just says Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade Series. Um, it's kind of like a trapezoidal shape for the entire box, which is interesting. And the box opens specifically on the hands of the clock. And I believe it opens at 12.20. Um, here inside the box, we have another layer of uh, packaging. And it says Disney Aladdin and Jasmine, limited edition, one of 1,000. And here we have a pocket with the certificate of authenticity. And mine here says Disney Designer Collection, Midnight Masquerade Series, Certificate of Authenticity, Aladdin and Jasmine, Collector Doll Set. This limited edition set released in 2024 has been carefully designed by Disney artists to ensure every detail was captured. This collectible doll set is sure to be a treasured keepsake for many years to come. And my edition size is 640 out of a thousand. And then we can put it back in that pocket there. From what I've seen, most Disney limited edition dolls love to put the authenticity certificate in the back behind the dolls. So you have to like take the entire thing out of the packaging to be able to view it. So I'm happy that they put it in the uh, front pocket this time to remove them from this portion of the box now and as you can see inside it is just plain white inside and it closes back up there and here they are outside of the main big box packaging uh, this front sleeve can be removed as you can see here um, I will not be taking them completely out of the box so this is at most what we will be looking at um, we can feel the textures and the, uh, the quality of the hair and the outfit materials, so that is good enough for me. Uh, my main, main complaint with these dolls and what I've seen from other people is that Jasmine comes with flat feet. 
they gave her heels and gave her flat feet and they just threw that on her um which is weird because the wicked stepsisters came with sloped feet as well as articulated torsos um from what i've seen from other people jasmine does not have an articulated torso she is just the standard playline disney store body with rooted eyelashes that is completely disappointing to me um i paid about 325 dollars for this doll these this doll set um so i really expected quality with the uh, base dolls themselves but as i'm not taking them out of the box i guess it's not a huge issue for me and then another thing that i've noticed is that the stock pictures actually don't do the dolls justice the amount of like accessories and attention to detail that these dolls have is really amazing every almost everything is embroidered and everything has like rhinestones and metallic feel to it making it feel like this is an actual quality product aside from the minor things like the feet and the uh, torso um, I really love this outfit. I was critical of it at first. I was wondering why Aladdin and Jasmine matched each other as the other dolls in the two packs for the Mid Midnight Masquerade didn't. But then they said it was inspired by the Cave of Wonders and the Magic Carpet. And that theming kind of like clicked in my head and I was like, oh, I get it now. And I, I really like it now after it was explained to me. But I really love Aladdin's outfit for this. It looks really good on him. And I absolutely love Jasmine's outfit too. The textures on these outfits are really nice. They feel like actual clothing materials. Um, unlike the Playline dolls or the Mattel dolls, which are very papery, very cheap, um, this feels like they took the effort to get actual high quality materials for these dolls. My vocabulary is limited for texture wise. I, I don't know what fabrics and stuff they may have used, but as we move on to Aladdin, he does have a new face mold uh, with the uh, smiling face. Um, his hair is sculpted, which is a little disappointing. Um, I forgot, I think Gaston has actual rooted hair in his design. The jewels and on Aladdin are nice callbacks to the movie itself. I love his top piece. I love that you can see a bit of his chest there. Um, the body sculpt is really nice. I'm not sure if this is a Shaw or not, I'm not going to take it out of the box and check, or if it's just part of his sleeves, but it adds a little poof to it, which is nice, helps with the uh, overall look. He has these uh, golden cufflets, and his mask is inspired by the Cave of Wonders. His top also like goes down to his legs, I'm not sure what that would be called fashion-wise, and his pants, um, from what I can tell, feel like sweatpants to me. Like that texture of, not like stretchy sweatpants, but the other kind, that's what it feels like, in my opinion. And then he has these shoes and a doll stand. Um, I'm not sure where the doll stand like clips, if it's like a saddle stand or a waist stand, but here in the packaging, they're being held by like bands to stay in place so i doubt it's a oh a waist stand and then we can get a closer look here at aladdin's mask what's interesting is that he doesn't have like a stick or anything to uh hold it to his face so like if he was actually at this party thing he would have to constantly be holding it to his face like at all times so that was an interesting choice. Um, 
he would only have like one hand for i guess all of them would have one hand free because even jasmine's holding it by like a stick um but aladdin seems a little bit more impractical Going back to Jasmine, one thing that I was disappointed about was finding out that all Disney collector dolls have poly hair. Um, that it, it's just the thing, like with the price point, you would think that they would give a little bit more higher quality hair. Um, but no, I put them back in their um, main box packaging and I'm going to be putting them on the shelf. But that's it for this review.